Hey Dave, where are you? Where is this? Arkansas. Little <laughs> Rock, Arkansas. Check this We're out. In Times Square. Times Square 2010. State building. Just a beautiful, beautiful day here. Nice. Check out the clipper. for North Carolina. Check this out, huh? This is the oldest canal in North America, hand dug originally. And we have David. in the water system so I fixed it but I uh, needed a longer hose so I went downtown and got a longer hose but a half inch is tight so I'm heating it up trying to get it on underneath there I've got silicone and it's just being a bitch yeah so this is not supper is it no okay. this is a hose I'm cooking a hose If you can see it, but the dolphins are herding the fish towards shore so that they can get them easier. It's right there. Did you just go out? Yeah. Here we are. Uh, we made it all the way to Savannah, Georgia. Look at this beautiful place that I'm docked at here. Savannah, Georgia. And basically it's about a yard sale with El Vagabundo. And what I got going is I'm replacing the rear main seal in a 31 year old Jan Mar. 2QM15 and this is the space I've got to work with as you can see I've got the transmission out transmissions right here there's the friction plate I've got a strap holding the engine up uh, here I am here and I just got the seal out here's the little bugger and uh, everything so far is going good, but what I found was a broken motor mount. As you can see, I've got all this wood in here holding this mount amount up. So.
Look at the captain, La Capitana. She's hanging on for dear life. Look at that. Look at that position. We've got it healed over. We've got a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. We had to move the bikes again this morning. As you can see, look at full sail. Woohoo! Winds directly out of the south. We're in the Hawk Channel. Check out this water, man. It's just beautiful. We dove a couple days ago, Molasses Reef. Look at how Jenny's just got this thing under control. Just, what just, do you think? Just came the opposite way. It's cool, but it's scary. Oh, there's buoys. There's buoys. Existing, growing up. So, I got this board in Miami Beach. Jenny got me this outfit to go with it. <laughs> and uh, now that I got this skateboard, it's something to break a couple of wrists with. Hopefully not. But it's pretty cool because it's a long board and it's made to carve. Look at this thing carved. Why, Mr. Darcy, you look mighty fine in your breeches. Here we go. Just like snowboarding. <laughs> but without the snow. And look at those fancy shorts he has too. He really looks the part. I got those for him for his birthday. As soon as he got the longboard, I thought he had to have the gay shorts too. <laughs> is the mooring field uh, at Marathon Key. Where are we going? Who needs to go to Venice when someone like KG can take you out for a little to row around? Here's Kevin and his exploration of the uh, Marquesas between Key West and the fort at, at the Dry Tortugas. As you can see, Ke as you can see, Kevin's run aground. <laughs> we were, Dale and I just went fishing and we've got some nice dinner ready to go. And Dale's going to show me how he fillets. First thing he told me is you got to get a cold beer. And so, what kind of cold beer you got there? Look at this, a natty light. Then it's the bones here. Mm -hmm. So you have to go over that little hump. Now on the front you get to the gut cavity, which have the ribs. Now on these fish they're real thin. You cut right through them. But on snapper and grouper they're thin. You have to have a real sharp knife to so you can't cut through them, or you just go over. Which is a little more difficult. So you go right down the spine. Now you're over the spine. And you take your knife behind the gut cavity. How's things going, man? Man, it's laid back, and uh, thanks to you, I'm out here uh, enjoying life and uh, living as I should be. All right, what we got going here is um, Dan and I finally made it out to the buoy. Check this out. And it's just awesome. There's Loggerhead, the lighthouse. We're actually on the southwest side. And we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and dive on a very shallow wreck called a wind jammer. And uh, our safety plan is because I'm by myself, is that Dan's gonna be in the dinghy and he's gonna come over and he's gonna watch the bubbles and he's gonna follow me around. There's a couple of different wrecks, and uh, that's about it. 
Okay, as you can see, I'm ready to go, man. I got, although you look like I'm going into the Arctic, uh, the water's only about 65 degrees, so after about 45 minutes, man, I'm going to be cold and ready to get out of there. So I've done all my seats. All right, man, I'm going down. It is a classic sunset from the Dry Tortugas. The Dry Tortugas are about 70 miles west of Key West. And uh, it's called it Dry Tortugas because there's no water found on the island. Uh, so mariners wouldn't come here hoping to get water. It's a pelican going And they by. say that uh, you can see a green flash here, but uh, when the sun actually goes down. So let's take a look and see what we got. Lorenzo se está poniendo Lorenzo. In Spain they call the sun Lorenzo. February 22nd, 2011, another day, wow, time really flies.